Hey everybody, hope you're all doing good out there and you're a little warmer than I currently am. I have an idea for a video series. Over the years, when I've gone to different bike dealerships and uh, you know garages and things like that, I've heard all sorts of stories about previous customers and things that happened that were just, you know, those those little stories that you keep over the years and, and you recant them at certain times because they're just so funny. Well, the thing is, most dealers can't actually obviously share these stories because it's, it's not the best customer relations to share it if it's if it's traceable trackable they know who they're talking about however the other day i realized well if you send me your stories of funny customers you've had or funny situations or even interesting stuff you know anything you think will be of interest to many if you email it to me to an email address i'm going to have in the description and you try and keep all the details that can narrow it down to you out then i can read them out and share them for everyone to maybe learn from we also here, if you don't care about people knowing who you are by you telling the story, because you're going to give your own details away like that, then that's fine. I don't have a problem with that if you don't have a problem with that. But only include in the email what you're happy for me to read out. The whole idea of this is to be able to share some stories and have a bit of a laugh and not worry too much about someone getting mad that it's about them. Because if it could be nationwide, it could even be a worldwide story, if they don't know where it came from, they can't be mad. And as much as people like to think they're unique snowflakes, well, actually not really. The same stuff happens from place to place to place. Not all stories will necessarily make it into a video. I may cover a couple of stories in one video or do one story to itself if it's a bit long. Uh, try and keep it to, you know, a couple of pages of uh, text at most, you know, because I've got to read it. As long as I can read it in like under 10 minutes, I just need to get pooped on by a seagull. Did I get pooped on by a seagull? No, I think I avoided it. I will also state clearly that any negative repercussions that come from you sharing this story with me is on you, not me. I'm just sharing stories that people will be happy to share. As it doesn't have to be like to be mean things or, or taking the mick out of anyone or anything like that, or if it's being mean to someone for no reason, I probably won't read those out. However, there are stories like, you know, from a few months ago, for instance, uh, I was at a dealership and I learned about how people tend to bring, especially young guys with scooters and stuff, tend to bring their bikes back when they stop working. So they'll be like, oh, okay, so so what's what's not working on it? Well, this isn't working, that isn't working, this isn't working, that isn't working. Right, okay. So when did the first thing go wrong? Oh, about eight months ago. So you've only chose to come in now when it won't run and you want me to sort it out for you. Of course, this also applies to mechanics, anyone really in the motorcycle industry, anytime you've had to interact with customers, the wonderful general public and uh, their reasonable... Uh, <laughs> No expectations of anyone. <laughs> Hopefully this will turn into something funny in the future. Huge thanks to my patron supporters. If you want to help support the channel, please consider doing that. Links in the description. Hit the like button if you'd like to see these stories and you want to share this video around so more people get to see it. Share it around and say with people who can add stories on and maybe give me an email. Lastly, make sure that if you're emailing me this, it's in plain text in an email. No PDFs, no files, no documents, nothing like that. I'm only going to be reading plain text emails. Okay, bye-bye.